the gospel according to St. John, chapter 7, verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the sons of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18 And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers According to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel. Kahalayim la alahayinawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto our power, the power of Israel. Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Once again, Kahalayim la alahayinawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham. Racha Kwadash. Double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elected Israel. Shalom. Shalom to the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Israel of the Heavenly Father. The, the chosen within the chosen. Okay? We are the real Hebrew Israelites. Okay? The original Israelites. The ancient Israelites, the biblical Israelites, okay? We, so-called blacks, so-called Latinos, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, people of Negroid and American Indian descent make up the 12 tribes of Israel, as well as the Israelites that have been scattered abroad among the other nations that may even look like them due to us being scattered, okay? And throughout the generations, us being intermingled with the other nations and reproducing with their women a lot of our offspring a lot of our progeny began to look like them but according to the scriptures you don't judge according to the appearance you judge righteous judgment who is that individual really who are these individuals really because the lord looks at the spirit of a man okay the spirit itself which is the holy bible beareth witness or resonates with our spirit that's within us that we are the Israelites. The Bible is the standard, is the measuring stick. Okay, and we got a deep connection, an intimate connection with this book. And that's how we can determine who's who. Okay? We go by the spirit and, and due to us going by that, we, we also look into the line of our fathers to the best of our ability. Okay? Now, the name of this lesson is going to be entitled, The Rapper Eminem is Definitely an Israelite. Check his ancestry. Rapper Eminem is definitely an Israelite. Check his ancestry. I don't give a damn how he looks on the outside. Who will see really according to his spirit? Now, you know, Lord Willis isn't going to be too long. You know, just getting right into it. All right, this is on Wikipedia. Speaking about his life, you know, you can look this up for yourself. I'm going to run through this. All right, Eminem. Marshall Bruce Mathers III. Now, keep that name Mathers in mind. Now, we're going to read a little bit of his background, okay? Like I said, I'm going to run through it. Born October 17, 1972, which uh, the 70s, that was like the height. That was the height of music. That was the, uh, the climax of music in our time, you know? The best music was really made in the 70s. Everything today is garbage, you know. It's my personal opinion. But it says, uh, known professionally as Eminem, stylized as Eminem, you know, the, the backwards uh, uh, E at the end, is an American rapper, songwriter, and record producer. He is credited, in, he is credited with popularizing, popularizing hip-hop 
in middle America. Oh, so he made hip hop more more uh, popular. But see, the stumbling block, he looks like an Edomite. That's a stumbling block. And it's critically acclaimed as one of the greatest rappers of all time. Eminem's global success and acclaimed works are widely regarded as having broken racial barriers for the acceptance of white rappers in popular music. But see, he's really not, you know, an Edomite. When there, there's no such thing as white. He's not an Edomite, man. And that's how he was able to break that barrier. Just as Elvis, which they got a movie out. Right now, dealing with Elvis. Elvis was an Israelite. You know? A lot of these different people you think of just talented white boys really are Israelites. You know, Leonardo DiCaprio. You know? And this one guy, he passed on years ago. You know, real old head. Frank Sinatra. I personally think that he was an Israelite, you know? That's my personal opinion. All right, Frank Sinatra. But there are a lot of Israelite foreigners, bro. When you find out who's who's Israel among the other nations, it, hey, it'll blow you away. But that's why you got to go by the spirit, man. Because a lot of you guys are carnal. You know, you can't look at the outward appearance, man. That'll mess you up. Okay? Now it says, while much of his transgressive work during the late 1990s and early 2000s made him wildly controversial, and see, the spirit of Jake, the spirit of Israel is controversial because Israel is peculiar. He came to be a representation of popular angst of the American underclass and has been cited as an influence for many artists of various genres. OK. And you can read the rest of this on your own. I'm not going to read all this, but just give you more of his uh, background as far as his music that he produced, you know. You look at all that Slim Shady LP, um, the Marshall Mathers LP, which uh, LP means a uh, long playing album. You know, you look at all that on your own. But let's deal with that name Mathers, okay? And once again, you should also think about his spirit. Think about his spirit and, and think about this when we go into his background, his early life, dealing with his parents, in particular his father. Now, uh, under early life, it says, Marshall Bruce Mathers III was born on October 17, 1972 in St. Joseph, Missouri, the only son of Marshall Bruce Mathers Jr. and Deborah Ray Debbie uh, Nee Nelson. He is of English, Scottish, German, German Swiss, Polish, and Luxembourgish ancestry. Now let's deal with English, Scottish, and German, mainly Scottish. Let, let's, let's deal with that. Now remember, remember this name Mathers. Remember that. Remember Mathers, okay? Now Let's uh, jump over here. All right, this is on houseofnames.com. Mathers History, Family Crest, and Coat of Arms. Mathers History, Family Crest, and Coats of Arms. Okay, it goes back to Scotland and Ireland. Okay. Early origins of the Mathers family, the surname or last name Mathers was first found in Ken Cardingshire, Gael Gaelic or Gaelic, a Morinay, so like I'm saying it wrong, so like you, if I mispronounce that. A former county on the northeast coast of the Grampian region of Scotland, of Scotland, and part of the Aberdeenshire Council area since 1996, where they held a family seat from early times, and their first records appeared on the early census rolls 
taken by the early kings of Britain to determine the rate of taxation of their subjects. Yeah. The point is, though, it goes back to Scotland. Okay? Scotland and Ireland. Let's deal with that. Now, you're going to find out during the Middle Ages, or what is classified as the Dark Ages, the people that lived in Scotland and Ireland were Israelites of Moorish descent, which the Moors are Israelites. You know, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, so called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians. They would just call themselves Moors. They was following the philosophy of Islam, but they are still Israelites, you know? Okay? All right, this is on Ireland slash information.com. All right, it says, who were the black Irish? The term Black Irish has commonly been in circulation among Irish immigrants and their descendants for centuries. As a subject of historical discussion, the subject is almost never referred to in Ireland. There are a number of different claims as to the origin of the term, none of which are possible to prove or disprove. Well, the, the original Irish are so-called black people. Okay? Actually, the, the word Irish itself is, is a uh, compound word. Uh, ire in Irish goes into irate, you know, to be angry. You know, to be angry. And uh, in ish, ish is, is, a, um, is a corrupted Hebrew word. Ish goes back to ayash, you know, the Hebrew word ayash, which means man. So Irish, it literally translates to angry man. You know, that's why the, the spirit of a lot of Irish is, uh, you know, they're they're like a, a light switch. They'll turn up on your ass, man. You know, and they're they're, they're uh, very lively. You know, everybody think about goddamn St. Patty's Day, which people just use that day as an excuse to drink, but you know. A lot of the time, or during that time, you'll see so-called Irish come out. I mean, and that's just their spirit. You know, Jake drink. Jake like, like to have a good time. When I say Jake, I mean Israelites, you know. But, um, yeah, you know, the original Irish are, are so-called, you know, black people, man. Are Israelites. Okay? I was dealing with uh, St. Patty. St. Patrick was an Israelite. When you look him up. There's a lot of people you'd be surprised are Israelites, man. St. Patrick was an Israelite. St. Nicholas was an Israelite. Everybody want to celebrate some damn Christmas, which that's, you know, paganism. But, you know, um, St. Nicholas was an Israelite, you know? You look all into that, you know? You look up the history of, you know, the, uh, the Byzantine Empire and the Dark Ages, you know, Middle Ages, and you'll find a lot of information that Esau Edom doesn't want you to know. Okay, but... um. Let's get back into it. Now, this is easy to prove. They're saying that uh, it's not possible to prove this claim about the so-called black Irish. It's very possible. And we're going to do it in a matter of like 10 minutes. Probably shorter than that. But uh, it says black Irish is often a description of people of Irish origin who had dark features. Whoa. <laughs> who had dark features, black hair, dark complexion and eyes you know you think about the irish and you think about the scottish okay let's see how i can make this shorter man i mean they they uh they got a lot of heat in here you know and i'm running short on time i don't want to make this too long you know you can read a lot of this for yourself as well you know i tell you what i'm going to start at this part right here where it speaks about the Vikings. And you know, it's more that you can read. 
But you know, I'm running short on time, man. Um, we'll start here. It says the Vikings were often referred to as the dark invaders or black foreigners. The Gaelic word for foreigner is Gaul, and for black or dark is Dub. Oh, you think about the word Dublin. And Dublin is the capital of uh, Ireland. You know, it's the capital and also it's the uh, largest uh, city. Dublin. Well, Dublin goes back to Dub. You know? I mean, it makes sense. It should make sense. You know? Dub means dark. Many of the invaders' families took Gaelic words or Gaelic names that utilize these two descriptive words. All right? Which they're going to say, you know, is you know but well, let me let's read it because you know Esau Eden want to throw some BS in here the name Doyle is in Irish old dub dub hell which literally means dark foreigner which reveals their heritage as an invading force with dark intentions but see it's bigger than that they, you know these were dark skinned people you know they didn't just have dark intentions or dark plans no they were dark skinned the name uh, Galair is O Gal Colbert, which translates as foreign help. The traditional image of Vikings is of pale skinned, blonde haired invaders, but their descriptive but their description as dark foreigners may lead us to conclude that their memory is in folklore does not just depend on their physical description. They're not Edomites. They're not pale-skinned, blind-haired invaders. They were dark-skinned. You know, Esau, you don't want to throw some BS in here, you know? And they always do that. Give you a little bit of truth, mix it with a lie. Okay, it says, Another theory of the origin of the term Black Irish is that these people were descendants of Sp Spanish uh, traitors. The Moors. The Moors, the Moors, the Moors, all right? That these people were descendants of Spanish traders who settled in Ireland and even descendants of the few Spanish sailors who were washed up on the west coast of Ireland after the disaster that was the Spanish Armada of 1588. It is claimed that the Spanish married into Irish society and created, created a new class of Irish who were immediately recognizable by their dark hair and complexion. And see, Jake always goes into a country and gets with the women. <laughs> hey, uh, I think about that movie, True Romance. They were speaking about, you know, the people of uh, Sicily. You know, the one man, before he died, he was speaking about, you know, the, uh, the people of Sicily. <laughs> you know how how uh you know the uh the moors went into sicily and and they fucked every edomite woman you know excuse my language you know <laughs> hey uh but they 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 popped all those edomite women and you know and and had babies by them changing the bloodline forever and that's why that one guy got upset and he uh you know he he popped dude's dome off you know he shot him in the head cuz hey the truth hurts man the truth hurts, okay? And you Edomites are not important, you know? The Israelites are important. You Edomites are a bunch of nobodies, man. Let's read this again. It is claimed that the Spanish married into Irish society and created a new class of Irish who were immediately recognizable by their dark hair and complexion. You can't get around that, Jack. You can't get around it. That's all we need on this. Okay. Um, let's go over here. This is on africasource.com. And we're not Africans. We're Israelites, by the way. We lived in the land of Ham. We lived, uh, you know, in North Africa and West Africa. You even got Israelites, you know, in parts of East Africa, even South Africa. But mainly we were on the, uh, the West Coast and, uh, and in North Africa. Nonetheless, we're Israelites. We're not Hamites. Now it says uh, under articles, it should it should say Israelite roots of Ireland. Okay, 
that's what it should say now we're gonna scroll down to where it says black viking and irish <laughs> jake was music all right um it says unlike scotland and england unlike scotland and england ireland was never colonized by the romans as a result ireland remained relatively isolated the vikings established port cities like dublin remember uh you know dub dub means dark you know the viking texts left stories and descriptions it should say of israelite soldiers captured in ireland whom they called blue men most viking references to black in norse would have signified having black hair as opposed to skin color but blue men meant black skin most of these blue men were captured soldiers from Moorish Spain. That's right, baby. Hey, that truth is <laughs> it's cutting Esau like a sword, man. All right. Um, I'll scroll down here. Like I said, I'm running short on time. Another Viking more notable than Thorhall was Earl Thorfinn. The most distinguished of all the earls in the islands, Thorfinn ruled over nine earldoms in Scotland and Ireland and died at the age of, of uh, 75. Um, I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. We don't need to get any more of that, you know. But these so-called Scottish and Irish people are Israelites, you know, so-called Moors, okay? Now, another point I wanna make, we go by the spirit, all right? We go by the spirit of a man. Now, you got the rapper, famous uh, Philly rapper, I believe he's from Philly, you know, uh, Cassidy, you know. Well, you know, pretty much, man, um, he's old news now, you know, he's, he's gotten older, he doesn't, uh you know, rap like he used to. He's not in his prime anymore. He's still decent, but he's not in his prime. But uh, he had the freestyle control, right? Now, he mentions rapper Eminem. This is what he said about Eminem. Check this out, man. He said, my bar's been crazy. I'm slim shady with black skin. Cassidy said, my bar has been crazy. I'm slim shady with black skin. Why would he make this statement concerning himself if Eminem not an Israelite? That, that means this man's Eminem or Slim Shady can spit so well. Cassidy, uh, he compared himself to him. You know? He paralleled himself to him. Like, you know... <laughs> I'm, I'm like Eminem. I'm just dark. I'm just dark skin. Hey, because Eminem is very lyrical, man. He got a lot of lot of good songs. Everybody know about that song Stan, that old song. But like, you know, he, he's uh, very good at storytelling. Hey, and Eminem had a rough life, man. You know? <laughs> Eight Mile, Detroit, hey, that movie. But uh, he caught hell growing up, man. You know? The hell he went through, you know, with his father, his mother, the hell he went through with his woman. You know, with his daughter, the, the, them uh, curses, man. And then when you look at it, uh, you look at Eminem's father. He got a certain spirit about him. Like you just look at his dad, man. Like, you know, th these are Jakes, bro. You know, you just look at a picture of his father. You know, and you look at him. He got a certain spirit about him. That that ain't no damn white boy, bro. And once again, you look at his father, his father got a certain spirit about him, which his father had passed on, you know, his father in the spirit world. But th these are Jake's, bro, just the Lord created, you know, Israelites that look different to prove a point. That that's really, you know, the, the Lord showing more of his power. He can make an Israelite look like anyone, <laughs> but it's still an Israelite. And also, you know, by the Lord scattering us 
and making us look like the other nation, the other nations, you know, by the Lord scattering us and making us look like the other nations, that was really to preserve the seed of Israel. Because if Esau Edom could identify every single Israelite based off of our outward appearance, it would be easy for him to kill all of us. But see, the Lord is so beautiful, the Lord made us even look like them. So now you can't take us out. You have to kill yourself, you know, take out, you know, your own kind to uh, to get us, you know, and you ain't going to do that, you know, to an extent they'll do it. But just showing you, you know, you can't get rid of Israel, man. We even look like you. And, and it's to further glorify you. How about you? I was shy, man. OK, but um, I pray this is edifying. Israel scattered all over the earth, you know, and Israel is returning to this truth. I'm going to close out. With this scripture here because um you know we're everywhere man and the gospel is for the hopeful elect that are everywhere okay james chapter 1 verse 1 james which the, uh, the name james means jacob by the way james is how you say jacob in uh in the greek james a servant of the heavenly father yahweh and of the lord yahweh shai hamashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting because we everywhere man okay hey and, and you can't reject the brother if he believe in the truth no matter what he looked like man it does it doesn't matter if he looks like another nation if he's still a part of the elect you can't turn that man away the lord will bring fire on your ass for doing that man turn away his chosen just because they look different and all you guys that do that man lord gonna deal with you man hey hey israel look like everybody hey get with it or get gone with that Kahalayim la alahayin awa yahawa ba Hashem yahu shai ba Hashem rakakudash double honor to our teachers the true teachers of the Bible the spirit of yahu ba Hashem yahu shai you know the elder apostles and elder bishops great millstone GMS peace and blessed to the hopeful elect shalom all right shabbat shalom all right wa yahawa ba Hashem yahu shai ba Hashem rakakudash brakatham washamara tham kwam yasharala shalom.